Welcome to Kessel House Berlin, where I have Ginger with me. And so nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, guys. So a uh, lot can happen in half a year, but let's start with the current European tour with Amorphis and Soilwork. So uh, what's the deal? Uh, how, how has the tour gone for you guys? Well, it's still going and uh, yeah, generally everything has been really smooth. No real problems, uh, great people on the tour, we really get on with anyone, especially with the, the first band, Nailed to Obscurity. Uh, just, you know, having fun, uh, I even managed to do some sport exercises with Tommy from Amorphis occasionally. And the shows themselves are wonderful, just everywhere. So you just go and you know exercise with the <laughs> yeah 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 that's what I'm really happy about. <laughs> that sounds like a really rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, but it's not on, only about rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what kind of uh, touring life does uh, Ginger lead nowadays? Uh, no party time, uh, to be honest. There is no party time at all. You just. I I can compare being on tour uh, w uh, maybe with being in, uh, in an army. Hmm. Just like in an army. You leave a certain rule and schedule and everything so your, your life is just very well organized. And this is what it is to be on tour. Yeah, uh, most of the shows are actually uh, sold out. So, uh, you know... Uh how does it feel you know to always um almost always you know play to a packed house well i honestly i've forgotten when it was the last time we ginger played not in a half not not in, in a fully packed uh venue because just before this tour we were in south america and it was just treme just tremendous and that that's why we you no know, we are really used to this and it i can't i can't say it's it feels uh, somehow different but it's great to be back in europe because we had all those tours far away overseas and uh, now coming back to you know all good europe is really fun okay i can understand that the new uh, uh ep micro came out uh, earlier this month so uh, what can you tell me about that well <laughs> we're really happy to be you know we're really happy to release uh, new music and share new music with people this is what we feel happiness and how has it been for you guys to be back on the road with the new music uh, I would say that or Without this new music, we would we wouldn't be, be uh, on, we wouldn't be be able to be back on the road. We just by some point last year we we really uh, we just understood that we overplayed songs from previous albums so much that it was high time to make new music. That's why it's great to be back on the road with with, with new music. That was one of our priorities. Like like we said in the beginning, like half a year, a lot can happen and a lot has happened. Yeah, we just band. we have been to many places. We have done many things. We yeah, we finally toured around South America and we, and Latin America in general, and it was awesome. Mm. <sighs> you know, satisfied with what you get. So, mm. of course, it's completely positive. Mm. The only, you know, negative thing about being successful and getting so far is actually, uh, you know, getting tired. So it, you burn out little by little, and this is the only negative thing. But you should be prepared for this once you, you know, get on tour, once you become a musician. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So what's the next step for Ginger? The new album. <laughs> and we never knew what, what music would make. 
before before starting working on a certain album like you make one song then the other song and little by little this is how this picture is built but before you start writing the first song you never know what it's gonna be okay so for one last question you know uh, you will keep touring Europe for a couple of weeks and then you know Japan South Africa uh, on April and May and you know um, um, well, how exciting is that? Well, like Japan oh, and so Africa. Japan is, I think, yeah, it is very, very exciting for me personally because I probably most of my life I've wanted to go there. Because, well, when I was a teenager, I was really into martial arts and I was crazy about Japan and of course I wanted to go there. Now I'm a musician and everybody knows if you're a rock musician and there is a tour around Japan, so it means that everything is going very very well and of course we're extremely excited about japan that's for me personally was definitely a bucket list place to tour yeah and the uh, south africa on the other hand it's also it's just something extraordinary do you know many bands who go to play a concert in south africa <laughs> no you don't know many bands of that and that is why it is absolutely special for us, too. Okay, that satisfies me. Thank you so much. And, uh, all the best. Always welcome. Always welcome.